It is time for the results of the Discord Gauntlet contest to drop. I am so excited for this. I've been looking forward to this. I feel like the idea of a gauntlet that's specifically dedicated to Discord is such a good idea, especially considering how active the GD community is on Discord. So I'm really looking forward to seeing what everyone has created for this. I know there have been some really, really awesome levels that have been submitted, but what's really exciting is seeing what's actually going to go in the gauntlets. From what I've seen, this is another situation where there's actually been so many good entries that the team deciding the winners have decided to actually split this into two separate gauntlets. So there's going to be two gauntlets containing five levels each from this contest, and that just goes to show, I think, how amazing all of these entries really were. And with that in mind, I think I'm just really excited to see what the team deciding the winners kind of decided was at the top of the list, because I feel like that is a very hard decision to make considering the quality of all of these. And I know I, I keep talking about the quality, but like, Dang, it's, it's high quality. <laughs> oh, bro, we got a crazy premiere timer. What the heck? I keep buffering. It's freaking me out. Like, this is about to start. I can't be buffering while watching the thing. No, don't do this to me, please. It's, it's getting real. It's getting really real. Yo. This cinematic intro goes crazy. Who came up with this? Dang, I mean, again, like, look at all these entries. They're so good. Oh, we're already in it. Okay, Knott's getting 10th place. Interesting. I feel like if if Knott's is getting 10th place, this, this is a good competition. Dang. It's interesting to see. I think that the actual switch, like the two modes here are very subtle. It's basically just a coloration change, which I think is really interesting. Really nice level though. I mean, you gotta love Knott's. Like, who, who doesn't love Knott's? Wow, what's in the light bulb changes too? Okay, so there were some parts that had subtle differences, but there are parts like these where there are very, very noticeable differences. That's an interesting approach for sure. Oh, the end screen is so cute. Oh, hey now, we're in tonight's place already. I love the parallax effect here in the background. Cool. Dang, those cars are really nice. How <laughs> they do that? Wow, yeah, that's really cool. So if you do one mode and you're like, I wanna see what this looks like in the daytime or in the nighttime, all you gotta do is just run it again in the other one. What the heck? Oh, we got some weird perspective things going on here. Okay. Yeah, this is crazy. Like for ninth place, are you serious? They're mm, tough competition. <laughs> that's crazy. We got a gameplay switch. One mode is in ship, the other is very much not. This song is so chill. Like, it's just, it's just so nice. Okay, I definitely thought that the top right one just got hit by a car. <laughs> or I guess it was a train, very much not a car, very different. But I was, that was a little, that was a bit of a jump scare. Aww, that's such a cute ending. That's so nice. Ooh, here we go. Eighth place. Abstract dark, love that. Oh, cool. Okay, so everything is based on a different season and depending on which mode you're in the season switches. That's a good way to distinguish between the modes for sure. Even just fully different locations, not even just seasonal changes. Like now we're either underwater or in trees, I believe. Ooh, this is nice. Okay. The transitions are really good too. Like they're really nice. And you can tell that they were like specifically made for each kind of like season that they're in, each theme. <laughs> that was crazy. <laughs> Bro was taking a dive. Aww. Yo, girly ill. Double dimension is crazy name. And this is like really, really cool. Like looking at the differences, they're very significant. It looks like they're almost two completely different levels. We've got totally different gameplay, totally different theming. It's really just seeming like two complete, like now one's backwards and one isn't. Like what is going on here? Yeah, it's literally just two completely different themes. I love the idea of taking like the geometry dash theming and turning it into like a 3D kind of different perspective thing. Okay, now what is going on? <laughs> like, what is going on? This is insane. People are just so talented. I cannot get over it. Yeah, no, this is fully like, you could tell me these were two, I mean, different levels made by the same person still, but you could tell me these were two different levels and I would believe you. Wow. That's awesome. Sixth place danger cat, let's go. Sheesh. That's cool. Like underground versus above ground. At least that's the vibe I get from it. But still like within the same theme of like construction. Ha! Huh. Those two transitions are cute. Oh, is that just the end? Oh, cool. Oh, we're up to like the fifth to first now. Oh, we're in it now. Okay. Dang, this guy's got a sword. Is this a Terraria themed level? 
this is this is a terraria themed level <laughs> unless i'm really stupid oh wow bro <laughs> people went crazy with this are you kidding me that is so sick the way that the sword swings to the beat too is awesome this is amazing this gauntlet is gonna go so hard i'm actually so ready to play this dang the boss fights in this are crazy like the first one was awesome this one's also amazing putting two like crazy boss fights in one level is not an easy thing to do by any means i also love the little hand on the character that like fights it's so cute <laughs> just a little circle holding the knife i don't know man it's just it's funny oh interesting oh this is a cool like boss fight mechanic kind of thing wow ah hard yay my buddy subwoofer, he's got fourth place. Let's go. Oh, geez. This is so nice. I don't know. The floral theme goes crazy to me. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just weird, but I, I'm a big fan. Yeah, this is, this just has the subwoofer touch. I don't know what to say. Ooh, the difference in theming here is really cool. The brown to green color change. Oh, the little fish guys. They're so cute. I don't even know if they're fish, but whatever they are, they're, they're cute. <laughs> like, I'm, <laughs> I'm a fan. Oh, yay. Oh. Oh yeah, okay, this is gonna be good. This is gonna be really good. I can tell right off the bat. So there's the normal path and I guess the not normal path. Dude, this is already insane. People really went all out with this. Like there's no, there's just, I, I genuinely don't know what to say about this one. There's just like, there's just so much going on. And that's like a good thing in this case. Like it's so nice. It's so well put together. I love the art style. It's just, it's great. And I love the theming differences too. Like they're very, very noticeable. I mean, the gameplay has changed as well, but I still feel like the levels are like combined in a way. Like they don't feel so distinct that they feel completely different from each other. Dang, now we just got like an owl at the bottom. Like what, what's going on? This music goes crazy by the way. Like, especially with the decorations and everything. It just, it, it's so, it's so good. It goes, uh, da, da, da. Uh, it goes so well together. Nas come in second place, bro. I think we know what this means for first place. I think we all knew what was gonna come in first place, but I think we all really know now. Oh, I love, I love the theming here. I keep saying that, but that is kind of the whole point, right? Is to have a theme that goes like, well, like the two exchanging themes, the different themes. I really like these two. Wow, yeah, this is really, really nice. There's just something about the vibe that it gives off, both at the top and at the bottom. Like with the music and everything, it's just really, really cool. Wow, this is really, really cool. Oh. Yeah, I mean, like, let's be real here. I think we all, I think we all. <laughs> I think everyone, like, I mean, I don't know what to say. We all, <laughs> this level is just insane. Like, I don't know, these were all, Every level in this in this challenge, like every every top ten winner was incredible, absolutely phenomenal. Dang, this is just oh, I I'm just so it's so cool to see the community make these amazing amazing things, and I'm just so I'm so impressed every single time a contest like this happens. This level is phenomenal, and I y'all been asking me to play it. I I already did. Um, I <laughs> I played it on stream and I recorded my reactions and things, so that'll be in a video soon. But. I mean, I can't say I'm surprised that this one came first place. Everyone's been talking about it. But at the same time, the other levels that have been shown here are phenomenal. And I can't believe that I didn't know about some of them because they are crazy good. Playing through this gauntlet is going to be so fun. Yeah, what an amazing contest, man. That is so, so impressive just from everyone. Wow. <laughs> Well, thank y'all so much for watching this video, seeing my reactions to the Discord gauntlet. Obviously, I didn't really know that much about the levels going into this because I've been so busy with school, but now that I'm back, I'm really excited to be making more content and getting to see things like this that I missed out on because it's just crazy how much you can miss when you're busy and you're not paying that much attention. And the community just doesn't stop making amazing things. So very much well done to everyone who submitted, even if you weren't featured in that video. I'm sure that you guys made some really awesome things and congratulations to all the winners. I really do look forward to playing this content once it comes out in 2.2, if 2.2 ever comes out. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you later. Bye-bye.